honor is mine. But of course. At your service. I am ready. Ready and willing. Very good. The honor is mine. on. From this range, I will fight to my last breath. Forward. Wait your turn. Let us pry out their weakness. I'll take you on! I shall do what I can. I will end this. in me. Mistake. Forward. Perry, that hit the mark. You've made a grave mistake. With clear eyes, I move forward. I've been waiting for this. I'll be your shield! Shall we begin? Allow me. You have my gratitude. This can't be! There is no mercy on the battlefield. It is time to strike. I can do it. I will end this. Here I come. 
wide open. Defeat is not an option. I'll make this quick. Let us pry out their weakness. You have nothing left. Have another! I shall do what I can. Allow me. That's the stuff. You won't beat me! I fight for peace. Sorry! Honor is mine. To battle with pleasure. Leave it to me! I won't let you down. As you command. I won't let you down. But of course. Shall we? Time to work. Hurt. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Not a chance. Here I come. You'll 
get no mercy from us. I see a path to victory. Tomorrow is a new day. Come at me! I'll be your shield! been weakened. Allow me. I fight for peace. Yeah. Time to work. This is the end. The hunt is on. Darkness engulfs you. Come at me! Come on! There is no mercy on the battlefield. My turn. That seems. May hurt. I? They're good. Your wounds are good. Let me show you what I've learned. We must tread carefully. Ha! Sounds 
strike for life. Yeah. A sound strike. Time to take flight. This ends now! I ain't that slow! Come at me! Look to my shield! I shall try my level best. Let us steal our defenses. Bye. I'll keep on then. Shall we begin? Be at ease. Much appreciated. Let me show you what I've learned. I was prepared for this. From us. There is no mercy on the battlefield. shall prevail. Allow me. Much obliged. Your orders?
battle is ours. You'll get no mercy from us. Just die already! Nice try! I'll show you what I'm made of! Time to die! I love the battlefield! I see a path to victory. I fight for peace. I shall do what I can. Your wounds are healed. I owe you. Time to work. Is within reach. Die already! Ha! Sounds strike. Why don't Time to take flight. Darkness engulfs you. I've been waiting for this! May I? At this rate, I... <sighs> there is no mercy on the battlefield. I shall do what I can. Your wounds are good. Much appreciated. Your orders? It's over.
It seems your first test as Lord has come. Tis no small matter either. Indeed, but I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? That is correct. So long as my allies walk by my side, their opinions carry equal weight to mine. Such is the way of House Wolfort. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the scale's decision, whatsoever they may be. You are more serious than usual, my friend. He understands what it means to be Lord of his house. Well, I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations and diplomacy with grace. Your Highness, you cannot be... You may stay ashore if you wish, you went. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. There is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. How curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead. Saranoa. Quite true. Okay. Lord Saranoa.
Indeed. Certainly. Listen, lad. You're onto something. I've made up my mind.
it is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost or the Holy State of Hyzant? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You've convinced me. You have my vote. I changed my mind. You won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We journey to Hyzant. We have decided. We set sail for the holy state of Hyzant. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Lord Serenoa, we are honored that you would choose to grace our nation with your presence. That said, I must offer you a warning as well. It may be in Lady Frederica's best interests to remain here in Glenbrook. I fear there may be some uh, complications were she to come to Hyzant. Huh? She is half-sister to the Archduke and my betrothed besides. What complications could there possibly be? None, if I had any say in it. However, the matter is more delicate than that. Your lady's hair would draw attention. Unfortunately, none of it favorable. My mother's hair, the pink locks of the Roselle. Mother once told me of how her people fled High Sand. Then you know how the Roselle are viewed in our nation, how the Gospel of the Goddess regards them as sinners. Yes, I do. But I am from Esfrost, and I assure you I have committed no sins. Of course, my lady. Very well, then. I will do all in my power to see your visit is a pleasant one. Thank you. Pray forgive my outburst. You've no need to apologize. Still, I must ask, are you certain? I must go. I would see with my own eyes. See where and how my mother and her people suffered. By order of King Regna, Serenoa escorts their esteemed guests back home, beyond the forest and over the mountains to a vast, sand-swept land. Before long, a grand wall of stone rises before them. Known as the Goddess's Shield, Behind it lies the source, Nozelia's only supply of salt.
Upon the lake shores of the Source towers a giant likeness of the goddess, ever watching over the flourishing city and the palace below. This is the holy state of Hyzant. Tales of the goddess's shield, but its grandeur surpasses even my imagination. It protected the holy state from both Glenbrook and Esfrost during the war. None in history have succeeded in breaching it. Do you think you might fare better, Lord Serenel? Well, I think penetrating these walls would be nigh impossible. <laughs> A most courteous answer. I should have expected as much. the hour of worship I've heard so much about. Indeed. Byzantians offer their prayers up to the goddess's statue every day. They thank her for her blessing, for bestowing us with the source from which all Norzalia's salt is harvested. To see every citizen pray is astonishing. The goddess truly is at the center of all Hyzant, just as the stories say. Even so, are there none who'd use this time of worship to rob their fellow citizens? There are none so misguided among the goddess's believers. All Hyzantians are guaranteed food, clothing, and shelter. The holy state has done everything in its power to eliminate poverty and ensure equality. As a result, no one envies others or craves riches for selfish reasons. Certainly if everyone were equal, there would be naught to fight about. But achieving absolute equality is impossible. The words of an unbeliever! The goddess showers her blessings fairly upon all who follow her teachings. Before we visit the Hierophant, there is one thing I must tell you about Lady Frederica. Under normal circumstances, the head of our nation would not permit an audience with one of Rosellen Extract. We have explained the circumstances, however, and she has been granted special permission to enter the palace as an envoy. That said, we would ask that Lady Frederica remain silent before the Holy One. Silent. Why? I reiterate that typically she would not be so much as allowed to attend. We ask for your understanding of our creed. You mean to treat one of Glenbrook's delegates as if she weren't even there? Prince Roland, you are here in secret. It would not do for you to gainsay another nation's religious creed. I have no objections. <sighs> My apologies. You needn't apologize. Let us do what we came here for. We appreciate your understanding. Now then, let us show you to the palace.
<laughs> that is where the Hierophant resides. The Hierophant imparts us with the Goddess's divine messages. None are allowed to look upon the Holy One's face, none save Minister Edor, who conveys their divine words to us. Pardon our intrusion. Lord Serenor Wolfort of Glenbrook has escorted us home on behalf of King Rick. The Hierophant speaks to you. Serenor Wolfort, we thank you for your gracious gesture. We are overjoyed and humbled that you have chosen to grace our nation with your presence. I am unworthy of such high praise, but honored nonetheless. House Wolfort and Hyzant have shared a deep bond ever since the Salt Iron War. On behalf of the Saintly Seven, it is my wish that our friendship will be as strong as it was with your Lord Father. But of course, I strive to one day measure up to his greatness. You will also, in time, succeed Lord Simon as advisor to the mining venture, I hear. The Hierophant would hear your true thoughts on the endeavor. I think it a significant stepping stone toward peace between the three nations. A safe reply, to say the least, Lord Serano. It is an ideal, an ideal that I can only hope is shared by all those involved. If I might ask, what is the ideal to which the Holy One aspires? I would share the Goddess's blessing with all of Norzelia. The Holy One wishes for a world where people are equal. The Goddess always watches over those who believe in her. May you all receive her divine protection. I apologize for visiting you in secret, but there is something I must ask you. I have heard that the people of Hyzanth live in equality. They say the Goddess showers blessings upon those who follow her teachings. But is that the only reason? Oh, a studious one you are, Prince Roland. King Regna has raised you well. Of course, the Goddess's teachings are at the core of the equality our citizens enjoy. But there are many measures taken by the Holy State to ensure the happiness of our people. Minister Lila's Ministry of Medicine, which dedicates itself to the study of preserving life, is another example of this. The results of their research have allowed many people to overcome illness and injury and live long, healthy lives. Fascinating. I would like to hear more about Hyzant's medical discoveries. I see we managed to pique your interest. Minister Lila, I leave our guests in your capable hands. Pray, show them around the Ministry, and let them admire Hyzant's pursuit of life and magic. <laughs> <laughs> 